What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, the Uncrowned Otaku. Hooray! Latest episode of Blue Lock came out yesterday, and my boy Asagi is leveling up to a new stratosphere. So, and first of all, I'm happy to say that it looks like that's not the season finale. It looks like this is going back to like the the old school animes where they just they just play it out episode by episode, which is understandable. Because Blue Lock got hella manga chapters out. So they got a lot of source material to work with. I feel like they don't need to take a break. They can keep this. It, it's on fire right now. And if you take a break, you're going to let it cool off. You don't want to let it cool off. Like, low-key, Jujutsu is still fire. Mostly because it had that movie. But it's kind of cooled off from the original flame it had. Same thing with Demon Slayer. Season 2 was good, but it's kind of cooling off. You want to, while it's on fire, especially Demon Slayer is done. They can keep that pumping. Like, you got to keep shoveling coals in that train. Keep that thing moving. Keep the express train going. You can't just take a break in Ohio and you trying to make it to California. No, sir. Gas that joint up. Gas that hoe. But Blue Lock, it looks like it's just going to keep going straight through. Because right now, Asagi, he made it through. So the whole, the whole stage 2 is pretty much just leveling yourself up. It's you going against a, a, a goalie, a goalie who Ego says has like all the data of of world class goalie. So Asagi, you know, level one, he's like, OK, let me use my direct shot. Boom, scoring goals. You got to get 100 goals in under what, like 80 minutes, 90 minutes. But when it gets to level max, the goalie's moving. You have people in there. They're moving kind of like a PK, a penalty area, a, a shootout, a kickout, whatever you call it. I'm sorry. I'm not too familiar with what they called it. Asagi's learning that everybody's pass is different. Bashira gave him perfect passes. But when you when you're teaming up with other people, the passes are gonna look different. So he was dealing with erratic passes, which taught him I have to, yes, I can still use my direct kick, but I have to adjust the power level according to the spin on the ball. And it's crazy that he can look at the ball and tell, you know, okay, it's got this, it's got this crazy top spin, it's got this crazy curve spin. I need to go ahead and kick it with 80% strength. So he has mastered. Well, let me not say master. It seems like he's mastered his direct shot. No matter who passes him the ball, he knows exactly what he needs to do to get it into the goal. The crazy thing is, as good as he was doing, once he passes through, we see that it's like 20 other people that already passed through, which means they did. They had the same challenge as Asagi, but they aced it further. But what really ramped this up is... You know, Bashira comes through, him and Asagi, they team up, boom, boys, ego boys. They was the they was the, the dynamic duo from jump. But then Negi and Rayo come over and they're like, hey, you beat us. I want a team with you. And, and Asagi's like, I'm not joining y'all team. I got my boy Bashira here with me. You think I'm going to leave him to join y'all? And we just dominated y'all? Well, they didn't dominate, but they won. He said, no, sir. So, now, is it Nagi or Negi? I'm, the, I have subtitles on when I'm reading it and they keep changing it. I think it's Negi Soshiro, but it could be Nagi Soshiro. I'm going to say Negi for now, and I'll look at it. After I post this video, I'm going to go watch the episode again, so I'll know his name. But y'all can feel free to comment down below what his actual name is. I'm going to call him Negi for the rest of this. Shout out to uh, the actual old anime and manga, Negi, who was a mage. Yeah, Negi, man. So he he looks at Rayo, he goes, hmm, what if I join y'all team then? And Rayo's like, you can't just leave me. My man looks back and says, we lost. I want to play with them now. And Isagi goes, man, I would love to play with my boys. You know, they 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 going to come through for sure. But you know what, Nagy? Let's do it. We're going to form a threesome. And when they walk, they move on to the next part. They're walking down the hall. Bachira says exactly what I'm thinking. Are we the strongest team or what? You got a man with foresight, a man with incredible dribbling, and a man who can do it all in Nagy. When they teamed up, I literally thought, nobody can beat these dudes. Little did I know. Bow, there's a team in front of them that's already been teamed up waiting for somebody to come through. And it's the person, because Ego gives them rankings based on how they did this stage. They were one, two, and three, I believe. One, two, and three. And it's the dude who did the crescent moon kick come to find out his brother is the genius midfielder that, that's playing on the national team now. And his goal is to beat his brother down. It's always somebody with brotherly drama. Earlier, we had the two brothers who couldn't be separated, although one day get eliminated. Now we got this little brother who has a, a elder brother problem, a complex. He got to beat his big bro. It's always, in, in sports anime, I feel like there's always that one person that has that issue going on. He'll probably never beat his brother, but, you know, he, he got nice kicks. He a striker. His brother's a midfielder. This dude's a striker. His crescent kick was dope. But now it's the, the top three that passed through versus Asagi, Bashira, and Negi. Now, I still don't know how Asagi with that team is going to lose. Negi looks like he should be the best player out of everybody there. He just, again, Negi's 
potential is unlimited, but he hasn't really had enough practical time. He hasn't had enough time to practice. He's, he's literally Frieza without the hyperbolic time chamber. So right now, Negi, he unlocks his ego. He can go gold Frieza, but he's not at black Frieza level yet. He's got to train to get the black Frieza, and then nobody can stop him. So right now, what they might be going up against, if Negi's Frieza, he might be going up against Vegeta and Goku right now. So it could be a competitive match. We got to see. What did Bashira learn during his training session, though? His dribbling was already immaculate, but now he... We haven't really seen him getting a lot of necessarily, like, a lot of goals himself. He got that one goal against Negi's team, but we need to see more from him, too. He dribbled past the whole team and scored that bitch. I need him to do that at all times. But, yeah, I think I think Asagi's team can't lose. So, even going up against 1, 2, and 3, I don't know what kind of skills they have. One dude looks like a coward. The other dude's worried about glamorous looks. And the, the main dude just wants to beat his brother. I don't know how Asagi's team loses. But what are y'all thinking? Y'all feeling Blue Lock? Episode 12, hopefully it doesn't stop. It looks like, because they just geared up, they just challenged this team. I don't think they can stop it. Looks like this anime is going to just keep rolling until it either, it either finishes or it catches up to the manga. I'm super hyped. Next week, oh, it's going to be a fire episode. I hope the match starts next week. Comment down below how you like in Blue Lock. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, especially if you're new here on Crown Kingdom. I've been your boy, Uncrowned Otaku. Get to the plane. That's the fire that keeps the kingdom burning safely. No harm shall ever befall the kingdom. For I am your uncrowned. Y'all be easy. Peace, 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 peace.